Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vanny Ezzel, back with our um, Shadowverse Champions battle video. So if you enjoyed the like, comment, subscribe, and also show you. So, what happened in the last one, we finished up all the quests that are for our friends and, you know, pretty much all the main character side quests. And now, this episode, after me grinding heavily off camera just to get uh, three copy, two more copies of Ignis and two copies of a probably broken spell that we might win the game with, we are finally ready to also i upgraded a few of our decks i don't know if i upgraded all of them but i don't, like i spent time in the underground getting more noxious elves um getting knight storm sword basic basically it's what our current sword deck is but aggro sword and i detected everyone's ace into their respective decks obviously so um yeah today we are starting nationals now this is going to be pure hell this deck is our final deck. Th this is the deck we're using throughout the entirety of Nationals. It's ramp. It's mostly the same that we've been using recently, but um, the main difference is we have two more Ignises. Yes, I, and I replaced Configuration. Yes, I know Fafnir being really high cost and basically more or less being a worse Ignis is a very bad idea to be having out of three of, but especially because I can just go buy another fort or I can buy another two forts actually, but Fafnir is my ace. We are going to sit through this Fafnir is our ace. It doesn't matter if it screws us over. Hope, preferably, we win all of our matches on our first attempt. If we don't, that's fine. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Again, I just want to win on our first attempt just to prove a point. But Fafnir is our ace. We're not getting rid of him. Is it a good idea? Maybe not. Do I care? No. So let's go. Let me make sure the deck is actually set because I don't even know what the fuck I was using. What was I using last time before I went off camera? All right, I was just banning Necromancer Shadow because I learned a way to abuse the AI. So I just kind of took it to abuse it. Anyways, okay. Now that we are done setting up, to the club room we go to start nationals. Long road of cutscenes await us, which is why. Oh. I literally could have just walked in here anytime and I want to have auto. I really thought if I came in here, it would just auto set it up for me. But here's a look at all of the experts we've come across. You know, that thing was. Okay, honestly, Ko was really easy to beat because all you had to do was beat rush him, which is what I did with fairies, and he just literally couldn't stop me. Um, anyways, there's Seraphic Lion, that annoying bastard we'll come across later. Uh, Shadow Bahama looks really cool up close. Anyways, okay, everyone, let's get some uh, dialogue. Learn balance with yourself is no simple feat, but I'm going to work on it. Uh, let's give Nationals everything we've got to win. Now that the play's over, I'm back to being a regular girl. Oh, so everyone's just talking about their stories, which is very nice. I will prepare myself, and sadly we can't talk to Hero without advancing it, but Hero, here we go. Oh, there you are. Ready to win this thing? Hell yes. Ready as I'll ever be. Again, it said... Awesome. I like how it said before, warning, if you go into the club room, it will auto-trigger the story. Except not only did it not auto-trigger the story, but it still gave me a choice to back out. I believe we made it all the way to Nationals? I should have gone to the Genesis Core Arena, because that's where it's going to be. Just see what would happen. I'm super nervous, but super excited too. Same here. It's time to show the world how far we've come. And who the strongest Shadowverse players are. Within our sight. Right? Let's move out, troops! Today we win! Yeah! Team Shadowverse Club! Whatever our team is. Something, Shadowverse Club. If I went on the first attempt, I'll be happy. I'll, ow, my thumb! I scratched Whoa, it earlier. Look at all the people! And this isn't even the tournament we're playing at. Or the arena. You're all here for the tournament? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah! Looks like all the killers came out to play, you know? Right. Of course. What else would you expect at the National Championship? Ladies and gentlemen, at long last, the wait is finally over! Here it comes. Oh, it sounds like the announcements are starting. Well, let's go in, guys. No stopping the cutscenes now. That's a lot of people, and they say it. It's mere moments away from first draw here at the Shadowverse National Championship. We are coming at you live from the Genesis Arena, bringing you the best action Shadowverse has to offer. These All Stars have covered all three cups to stand before us today. Which of these players will dominate the bracket and take home the prize on the ultimate stage? Stay tuned and find out. The qualifier stage of our tournament will take place all throughout the town of Necoman. Oh crap! The shopping district, the park, and the station plaza. 
It's battle zones as far as the eye can see. The action today promises to be hotter than a holy flame tiger. All players participating in the qualifiers, please install the official championship app on your phone. I forgot that. You can use the app to keep track of your wins and losses, as well as manage your score. I literally forgot about that. The rules that. for the qualifier stage are as easy as one, two, three, ball. Simply raise your score by winning matches. I the top 16 players with the highest total score will advance to the finals and face each other in the arena. The competition is bound to be downright fierce. Oh, These fuck. players have blasted through the bronze, silver, and gold cups to put it all on the line. With so many powerhouse. Oh, well, I didn't. I forgot that the A button pause it. My bad. Powerhouse players in the running. It's impossible to say who will come out victorious. Each and every one is already a champion. Also, hi, Ray. Only one can be declared the true champion. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let the Shadowverse National Championship free for all begin! I'm not kidding. Okay, at least I have my thumbnail. I legitimately, okay, A, I forgot about the A button thing, but B, um, I forgot about this. Sounds like this is going to be wild. I'm not kidding. I actually forgot about the, the qualifier stage. We're rivals, but don't forget, we're still clubmates too. Yeah. Yeah, in the end, we're all on Team Tensei, you know? Okay, that's our team name, Team Tensei. Team Tensei! We might end up playing against each other, but I'm rooting for all of us. Right. Anyone who loses in the qualifiers will be subject to one of my patented lectures. Okay, so now I can't lose. I expect nothing short of the best from each and every one of you. Okay, time to get this show on the road. Next stop, the finals! I don't know, I was, I was thinking about to say Nationals, but GO! Team Tensei! Okay, in order to qualify for the finals, you must first raise your score. You can increase your score by challenging other tournament participants, indicated by the orange exclamation mark on their heads. Um, so, essentially, like, if we fight this guy, he's not going to do anything for us. But, like, say, for example, oh, you're not in the tournament? I thought you were. Nope. We ain't doing this right now. I'm not fighting her if I don't have to. I I'm not kidding, though. I legitimately forgot about the qualifier stage. So, I think there's some random NPCs. I hope there are some, because I remember a handful of them that aren't, such as Vivian. And, yep, there's Zuo and the other one I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk to Mimori. Here's a, this is our chance to kind of, like, rematch them. I am not talking to you. End of story. Um, You know what? Fuck it. We'll see how far we go against Ko. Because, honestly, like... No joke, I was legitimately like farming against Ko. Zuo and Ko were so easy. The oh, whoops. Approach the prey. This works too, I guess. Quickly go log. Oh, it's you. Okay, here we go. Prepare to be hunted. Wow, okay. Shadowverse, showdown. Okay, anyways, like Ko and Zuo were so easy to farm in the Underverse, especially when I was using Fairycraft. Because both of them have skills that work really great for rush decks, but because fairies could rush faster than both of their decks, I literally could just abuse them. Like, even the one game I bricked against Zuo, I immediately turned it around because I could spam more fairies, turn them into Hellflame Dragons, just outrush his Hellflame Dragons. Like, no joke, they were the easiest players to farm against by a long shot, and I felt bad, but at the same time, I didn't because I hated both of them, so... You know, it was like, I hate you. Let's just make my job easier. I want to play a match with you. My thing is, though, because Ko no longer has this skill, which was literally the thing that allowed me to beat him as fast as I did, um, worries me immensely, because his deck is still a rush deck, but now it doesn't have the last words, uh, which is everything now gets last words deal to damage, which, if you're wondering, that's kind of how I put Ko on the back foot so easily. So, yeah. Now I'm worried that he has that one annoying spell that almost every fucking Bloodcraft player I runs across runs. Um, but Dragonic Prevor, so I can, uh, get back my life and I realize my boy can't attack! Perfect! Um, okay, the AI is gonna- well, actually, even if- Vicious Viper! Fuck. Well! So that fire lizard I mulliganed back earlier would be real helpful right now. Because Calm is now going on a rampage. Yeah, I kind of need that, um, that fire lizard. So, Deck, if you don't mind. Well, that's not what I was asking for, so... Okay, because I don't want him to get bats. I'll kill this. 
I guess I'll call the Maelstrom to, I guess, kill the thing with Bane so I can't die to it. Or at least not yet. And then next turn to get our life back up with Dragonic Favor. Because, I mean... Like, th like, this is the way I, you just gotta beat Ko. Like, this is how you beat aggro decks. You just try to slow them down to the point where they can't do anything. I mean, he plays Bat Beatdown with, like, a little bit of Golem cards. Or not Golem, uh, Goblin cards. So, I mean... He's not that much of an issue if you can stop him, but he definitely is annoying as fuck. Um, ow. Yeah, okay, so I'm definitely Dragonic for boring this turn. Man, if only I did it last turn, I could faff me right now. Um, okay, as much as I want to take that gamble, I'm not going to. Um, okay, as long as he doesn't play something with Storm, I'm safe, right? Like, that's the logic here. That's fine, it doesn't have Storm. I mean, whatever he evolved... Okay, he doesn't have game, he has close to it. And the thing is, because we know the AI can top deck, there's a high chance it has like double Razory Claw, some bullshit, but Fafnir. I mean, okay, here's the thing. If he doesn't stop me, I have game. I, I think I have game because I can piercing roar with Seabrand and some other bullshit. But like, he's probably gonna have something that kills me. Okay, that I didn't expect. Okay, go to hell. But, um... Yeah, see, I'm safe. So, let's, um... Okay, what kills this board fast? Okay, given that when it destroys an enemy follower, deal damage to the enemy leader. Okay, so we'll go Fire Lizard that to hell. Then we'll play a C brand. And then because, oh, but whatever I play is literally just gonna die to it. So in that case, I'll play Piercing Roar to try to hurt this thing a little bit more. He'll get the bat, but in exchange, he does take four damage. I don't trust him. I really don't trust him, and I kind of wish I played the ward card, but. We're just gonna crush his board, and if he doesn't stop me, I have game. I could have played that more offensively. I could have, but I am afraid right now. God damn it, he has game. Or he doesn't, and I win. Do I? Because I got 12 damage on board. He barely, I barely don't have game unless like Dragonic Oracle gives me something with Storm. What shit didn't? So, um, face? Murder. Um. Ward. Ward. So, I mean, okay, again, unless he. He's gonna have something that does burn damage. If he doesn't, then I win, but he's gonna top deck it. Are we done yet? Holy shit, I live! I. Wow. Oh, hi, Ignis. Um. Well, because this deck was specifically made for you, might as well. <laughs> like, this deck was. More or less specifically tuned to better... Like, okay, if I didn't focus on the Fafnir, this deck's base would be Ignis. Because that's also why I bought Piercing Roar. Because that's how a hero wins against Lucia in the anime. But, um... Okay, I'm actually surprised I won. Sorry I have to cut that. Things happen, but... I won, somehow. I expected him to sack. Not, like, not even gonna lie. Can I seem to win? Yes, I'm nothing but an easy mark to you. Well, whatever. Even if you beat me, Zulo is a different story. I feel bad for beating him now. <sighs> but I won't lose next time. How much points do I get for winning a match? Okay, so I gotta win five of these. <sighs> Zulo's rush is so annoying. Especially if I don't have fucking Confrogation. Mm. No one's forcing me to do this, but... <laughs> There's my prey. It's no surprise you beat me last time. I was basically a sitting duck. But not anymore. I've been sharpening my claws just to hunt you down. That's fair. You got some bite. <laughs> Just what I like to see. Something tells me. Get ready, cause it's open season, baby. 
Shadow Burst! Showdown! Something tells me Zul is winning this, because when you don't fight him rush v rush, he suddenly gets a lot more aggro, but, um... No, like... It is... Mmm... Okay, so fun fact, there's a reason why it is set to 200, because if you take count, of all of Team Tensei, there's five other members outside of you, and if you fight all five of them and win, you get the thousand points. But, um, I didn't think that far ahead. And I'm just gonna pray I'm not... Oh wait, he doesn't have the ability to turn his into health flames, does he? Okay, I also gambled a lot by Mola getting some low-cost cards, and why am I only going second? Oh, hi, Fafnir. Um... Okay. I don't feel comfortable with that. Okay. So I don't know if like he has normal health flame dragons or if he doesn't. I'm playing Maelstrom in case he does play one, just so I can kill it. But okay, we're safe because I get Oracle anyways. And like, okay, hi Ignis. Um, I forgot I have two copies of both of them in here now, so. I can consistently play one on top of the other. In fact, next turn I can Fravor into Forte, who can no longer be targeted. So, I mean, he's gonna get a freebie 2 damage on me, but in ex Okay, so Ignis is not going off on normal conventions. Actually, in fact, Ignis is active next turn. Holy shit. Well. Okay, well, now I'm not gonna allow the fort. Okay, as much as I would normally just forte the face here, I am kind of afraid of him, and I don't I don't want to give him ramp, but I don't think I have a choice, so we'll do this. Um, firstborn into that. And I mean, hell, if it works out, it works out. I didn't... That was an accident. That was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit the other one. That wasn't a misplay, it was a misclick. A misplay would imply that I did that on purpose, but it wasn't. It was an accident. <laughs> well, um, I mean, it dies anyways, but I would have rather. Okay, so he's just gonna Master Moon my ass to death. Good to know. Um, yeah, you're not wrong. Um,. Okay, if I drop my entire... Okay, here's the thing. I want to play Ignis consistently, but I physically can't. I think I might just have to play hard, like, hard play Ignis here. Evolve it, swing, murder his board. Pray that he can't kill Ignis, and then just, like, go face. I think that's my only option here, right? Because... Okay, he threw down three cards with Bane. So, and I know he can't bring them back unless, like, he Bejewel Dragons. So, like, he's dead. He's dead in terms of Bane bullshit, to my knowledge. But he also could just have... Ah, that's the card that changes your shit into Hell Flames. Well, he has to play a second one. I know he has one, so I stand corrected. He doesn't have one, so you know what, Forte. I I should for more, but I mean it's not gonna make a difference. And I know he can't kill me next turn unless like he has access to Genesis Dragon, which I don't think he does. So I mean. This is game next turn. He's dead after this, so... Yeah, face. I mean, if he doesn't kill both of them, then I win. So, or if he doesn't kill me... Okay, so automatically Genesis Dragon's off the table. Okay, it doesn't matter what you add, I win. Unless you kill Forte. If he doesn't kill Forte, someone tells me Uriel can kill Forte, which worries me, but if Uriel can't kill Forte, I win. I win! I don't think he can kill Forte, because that last card has to be an amulet. Forte's game. Hi, Fafnir. Go Forte. I drew all three Fafnirs. I drew one Ignis. Well, um, Zuo stood no chance whatsoever. Good game. Suddenly we remove his skill, he becomes a lot less challenging. While when we add, while when we take away, um, oh, not Zuos, uh, when we take away Co's skill, he becomes a lot more challenging. It's weird. Looks like you're the alpha after all, huh? Yes, yes I am. Whatever. Guess Co and I will just have to keep honing our skills. Right. In the meantime, you better not let anybody else get to you before I do. Don't worry, I don't plan on it, but I might have to. 
Okay, so we're at 400. I am not challenging Vivian with every single fiber of my body, simply because I'm 95% sure she is over here and I just want to fight her again for some arbitrary reason. Miyabi Zaizen, something Zaizenji. Something I do like about this is you do get to fight all these characters. You do get to fight all these like big all-star characters, but my issue with it is like it's only main characters, which oh, kind of sucks. There you are. So, you finally come to challenge me? Yes. Ordinarily, we Zaisenjis wait for no commoner, but you're an exception. True. Now listen here and listen well. I'm the heiress to the Zaisenji estate, and yet you bested me at my very own game. Right. Who had yet to taste defeat in Shadowverse until that point, and in life as well, actually. So while appending your name to our household code, I thought long and hard about what I should do. Okay. And at last, I came to a decision. I must surpass you. Not gonna happen, lass. Allow me to make this clear. You have been designated as a rival of the entire Zaisenji household. Oh, great, I have an army on my ass. There's no reason to be surprised. I have found this wealth, so naturally I have found this taste as well. Okay. My discerning eye has acknowledged that you are a fitting rival for me to surpass. Okay, Mia, I mean, not to cut you off, but can you kind of speed if this I up? If I can't overcome you, I'll be tarnishing the reputation of the filthy rich everywhere. And I will not allow that to happen. Uh-huh. Behold true elegance. Shadowverse showdown! I'm gonna lose this one. I'm, I'm confident because, you know, I ex honestly... Ex okay, when I realized that we had to do this qualifier, which I forgot about again, um, I was confident we were gonna lose in the first round. I didn't. I thought we were gonna lose against Zuo. I didn't. So, I am more than confident I'm gonna lose to Miyabi. If I do not lose to her, I will be beyond damned. But why do I keep going first? <laughs> Hi, Fat. This is nothing personal, but uh, I need rant. Okay, well, there goes that plan. Um, simply because I have fear of what co of what's coming. I re by specifically fear, I mean anything with Storm, specifically Quick Blader. But we'll see. Okay, I was wrong to be afraid. I don't trust the game. Also, I hi Ignis. I, I remember Ignis is at three, yes, but I keep forgetting that it's gonna show up often now. I feel like I'm fighting Lucia again because if you don't remember, every time we fought Lucia, somehow Ignis consistently showed up in the hand and... Huh. Suddenly, I have a change of plans. Mmm. This is... Interesting. Mmm, I am really tempted to uh, bake it into. Oh, I forgot about that. Fuck. Well, of all. Yep. Okay, I've got. One turn to warrant trying this. I got one turn to warrant trying this. So, Phoenix Adusti. Just enough to warrant trying this. Um, if you don't see the plan, it's Dragon Warrior into Ignis, and I think that'll actually wait, that'll leave me with just three. Fuck, I might have to Fafnir. I might have to Fafnir. I might have to Fafnir and Dragon War or whatever lives the Fafnir. This is gonna hurt, by the way. Oh god, Storm Givers. Oh god, buff. Ow. Okay, at least her Evo points are like running out, but. Oh, that hurt. Ow. Um. Okay, at this point, what. I think it has to be. Yeah, Fafnir and a Warrior, I think, is death. Cause, wait, no, your attack isn't five though, is it? It's four, yeah, so I don't have fucking... There's no way to kill them without, like, Ignis isn't even gonna kill one of them. I have to, actually, Ignis could kill one of them. But then I lose Ignis, which isn't a thing I want to do. So I think it might just be... <sighs> I don't wanna lose Ignis, not this way. 
I don't think I have a choice. If I, like... I honestly don't think I have a choice. I think I have to do it this way. Because... If I don't, then I risk death because I have to lose something of value. So... Oh, I'm not even an overflow. Oh, I lose. I just realized I'm not even an overflow. So this doesn't even have storm. So she actually has game if she has anything that has storm. She actually does. I misplayed horribly. Yeah, she, she's one. Oh, yeah, she's one. That's eight. Okay, well, she wanted to flex. Um, yeah, she has game. I actually didn't... I mean, okay, it didn't matter. She was going to take my shit and then give it storm anyways, but... Yeah, I, I... I told you I was gonna lose that one. Yeah, I made the misplay. I... I shouldn't have played... Well, to be fair, Roost actually put me in a lot better of a situation, but I probably... Well, yeah, no, I should have killed the thing. That's what led to my death. I should have killed it earlier than let it live, because letting it live made it a giant-ass beat stick, and I... Which basically forced me to do everything in my power to get rid of it. That, that one's on me. Okay. This time I'm not gonna do that. Can I please see Oracle again? Nope, okay. We have our first loss of the episode, and it was to my own stupidity. This is gonna be a long one, by the way, if you couldn't tell, because I want to get all the, you know... I, I honestly thought we were starting the whole tournament today, so I'm gonna do everything in my power to, like, get the pre-parts out of the tournament out of the way, so basically all of this. Okay, I'm gonna learn from my mistake and not leave something with three beat stick power on the board. And cool, I go from seeing options to having no choice whatsoever and having to skip essentially two turns. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean skip turn two and then skip my next turn. To the point where, okay, never mind, it's worth playing this now. Because I was going to say, maybe it's not even worth playing a card, but because then I can evolve first, Ethica, ramping. Well... Fuck that plan. Um, Ethica, Ivory, because drawing right now doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, okay, if I saw one of the aces, yes it would, but um, until then, right now I need to do is make sure I don't die before then, and then just, I, I don't know really, honestly. Okay, either, depending on what happens, either for Vort or Wyvern, it depends. Oh, great, and she's out, okay, she's out one takeover. She's out one of them. Ah, light. Can you lose, please? Is that an option? That the deck I was, that the, the deck I'm normally more confident against. Also, the one time I have more evolution points, can I win this easier? Okay, that worries me. But um, well, there goes that. I was just gonna try to ram Ivory into it. Um. I do this simply because I know for a fact that I can Blazing Breath something on their board to death. Yeah, a hundred- yeah, this is a good idea. Because now if they kill it, they die to a Blazing Breath, Seabrand, Favor, whatever combo. So... Play as many of them as you want, I have an Ignis. I will hard play if I have to. I don't want to, but I will. Because if it board nukes you, it's worth it. So come at me! Coward. Well, I guess I get to uh, burning breath at least, so I guess I save the Ignis. Which is good. That There's that benefit. Unless she does that. Unless she does that. Well, um... Seabrank. Uh, just so I don't waste the Evo. Really glad I didn't misclick there. Okay! If worse comes to worse, Ignis Blazing Breath. Stop giving shit stats! Please! It's getting on my damn nerves! Oh my god, there's two of them now. Okay, what kills me is my question. Okay, what died last? Okay, they didn't kill anything there in their turn. Okay. Ignis. Okay. I think if I Ignis Favor and then just play whatever, I'm safe. I don't think they can kill this way. I hope I am right because I will cry if I am wrong. 
Evolve. Kill the board. Okay. Pass turn. She shouldn't. Hopefully, she can't stop me. She's got double storm, but they don't raise stats. Wow! No! Your skills could use some polish. Yes, I'm done for. Guess I'm done for. I thought hostile takeover could only take over cost four bullshit. Can it take over anything if she has the amulet? Oh my god. The one that was supposed to be easy. The one that was supposed to be easy, of course, is the one I struggle against. Why is it the ones that I believe are going to be hard, the ones I win against relatively easily? But then the ones I believe should be easy are the ones that I love to prove me fucking wrong. Fire Lizard! And there goes my next few plays for the turns, because I can't do anything unless I top deck. I am not letting that live as long as my life depends on it, because as of game one, it does. Thank you, Oracle. Okay, you need to die. You can go to hell. And I pass the turn. I'm cunning wyvering into Fort or into Favor. I do not care. The second she deals me damage, I am playing Favor. Because as far as I'm concerned, I need as much life as physically possible. Go, Wyvern. Fuck off. Pass turn. Worst case scenario, I have Blazing Breath unlock, and I'm pretty sure whatever she plays here dies to this. Boy! Okay, it's five attack or less. It's five attack or less. That's the requirement for that card. Um. Oh, fuck, there's no good options. This, I guess. Hi, Ignis. Okay, we. Forte Maelstrom? We. Forte Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, we definitely Forte Maelstrom. Um. Oh, we see Brandon Prison. That's the other option. Because uh, it hits five attack or less. It doesn't really matter what I do here. Um, okay. You. You. You kill you. You kill you. Because we can afford to leave the 2k on board. Or the 2 play point body. We try to let Ignis proc as fast as possible, and we'll just see how far we go. I was really hoping she would waste the Evo point on that, but whatever. Okay, Forte. We're going face with that, by the way. And then next turn, I think Ignis, with literally anything else in her hand, is automatically Evo, so let's just do this to slow her down. We'll play Firstborn. Okay, 3 5 bop. Shinkada. Um. Okay, please tell me one of you only goes to 4 attack. Fuck. Okay, well, I guess we're getting rid of this one. Um. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. If it swings it, actually, I should have gone for the girl. Because if she evolves it for whatever reason, I would, um. Stop doing that! That is so annoying! She's gonna evolve it! She's gonna evolve it! And it's gonna be out of Ignis range! Watch! I should have killed it! Why? Why are you so insistent on making this so much harder than it has to be? Because the worst part is, if she has another one, if she does that again, it is game. I have to Ignis here, because if I don't, there's a chance she could kill me. She has one Evo, she might have another one of those, and the worst part is, because I used up all my Evos on this, if she actually does that again, I have no way of stopping Ignis. I legitimately die to Ignis in two turns time, if she does that again. In all honesty, she probably will, because she has a Surger for it, and she can just hard draw it. Why? 
Rose could use some polish. How am I supposed? Thank you, game, Ignis. She's out of those, right? I think she used all of them. I hope she used all of them. Ignis, auto shink it off. Please kill that one. Sorry, old Ignis. Go firstborn, or not firstborn, the, the, the dragon thingy in prison. She's dead. I'm pretty sure she's dead. That's fine. It's fine. I can work with this. Okay, Gabriel dies on swing from Ignis. Um, top deck anything that keeps me safe. I will take a Dragonic Favor right here. Hell yeah! Damn it. Oh, wait. Hell yeah! Bejeweled. Skill of Bejeweled. Let's just fetch back that Firstborn for a second. Firstborn coming out, buddy. Ignis, go face. Ignis, skill, board nuke. Or mostly board nuke. She's dead! If she does not top deck, I win. Please do not have another copy of that stupid spell in deck. Do not have another copy of it in deck, and I win. If she has another one, I lose. Do not have another copy. If she doesn't, I win. I mean, authority. Thank God. Well, okay, well, I, I still have a chance to... Ivory. Just to save on play points. That's fine. I win. She's lost. This is game. Face. Thank you, Ignis. The first time we fought her, this is what I imagined was gonna happen. But she didn't. I thought after that was gonna be all hunky dory. No, she does this shit. I'm not challenging Marcel now. Splendid. Oh, sorry. Don't I insist things. you join the Saisenji household. What? Together, we'll hone that potential of yours through the spirit of friendly competition. Sorry, I'm not looking for a girlfriend, wife, whatever you're trying to insinuate here. Yes, I do. I honestly don't doubt that, Lass, all things considered of what just happened. Okay, three more matches and I don't have to do any more of this. I'm not fighting Kazuki. I'm definitely not fighting Vivian. Um, okay, Nekome, if we go to the shopping district, I assume Hero's here. I assume Hero is here. So I'm just gonna ignore Hero if I'm right. I'm right. I'm gonna ignore you even though I'm clearly doing duplicates. I don't wanna do this, but it's just gonna get it out of the way. Perfect. You'll be my first victim. Oh, you're, this is your first match? I'm too dim-witted to realize it. But I owe you for a few things. Uh-huh. First, you beat me and put me in my place. Right. Second, you helped me out of a tough spot. Mm-hmm. But most importantly, you managed to take down my bro. Right. I couldn't care less about nationals. <clears throat> Win or lose makes no difference to me. Okay. As long as I get to beat you, that's all that matters. Right. Don't even think about running. Shadowverse, showdown! Okay, so I could say this. I do know who makes it to the top 16, so we could say I'm purposefully avoiding all the players I know are going to be in there, which currently is true. None of the people we fought, except for maybe Miyavi. I don't know if she makes... I don't remember if she makes the top 16 or not, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Um, spoiler alerts. But, um... You could say that I am purposely avoiding them. That's not the case. It's just that I legitimately forgot about it. I would have fought all five members of Team Tensei if I remember. Not even gonna try to ramp to that. Okay, we're not gonna try to get to the ramp to it for my opening hand. If I draw, 
Okay, if I draw any form of ramp, he is dead. Because I have Ignis active. So. I have Ignis active twice. And this is where Fire Lizard comes in real fucking handy. Fire Lizard, kill that thing. Sorry about this, Jewel. Um. Well, at least I gotta. Okay, so I definitely gotta be prepared for Ignis. Hopefully, I draw a bunch of low cost stuff. Okay, I don't know if I want that liver or not, honestly. Um. I mean, I probably could afford to, but considering I do have to skip a turn, because I'm not playing Warrior with nothing going into it. Okay, this is gonna hurt, but, um. Emissary, I guess. I don't know how to feel about this. Um. And he's going to evolve that, and it's gonna swing face. Get lost. Yep. And it's just out of kill range of Warrior, too, so I have to ram Warrior into it. But five seconds ago, that would have been real useful. Um, okay, you need to die. Okay. Honestly, I have to just live to Ignis. But the issue is, I don't know if that's possible with this hand. Like, I'm legitimately too far away. Yeah, now I'm too far away. Unless I board nuke him. Oh, I forgot I could emo. Um, yeah, he has game. I, I literally can't stop him. He has one too many evolution points. Unless I top deck, I lose. See, here's the thing. It doesn't matter. Because my only choice to kill that, right? Is to play four and evolve it. Except the issue is, I need to evolve Ignis to live. So, like, you, you see the problem here. Uh, the most I do is extend my life by a turn. Like, I'll do it, because technically speaking, if I top deck, God knows what I have to top deck to win here. But if I top deck something, then I can possibly kill him. But that involves me creating, like... Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal type of divine intervention, I can destiny draw my way out of death. Like, that's what I have to fucking do here. And even then, he probably still has game. Like, straight up, me opening with... Okay, yes, I should have mulliganed for ramp, but me not hitting that for Vore earlier definitely screwed me over, because... Yeah, see, even if I play Ignis, it's not gonna auto-evolve, and I've lost off that. So, go for Vore, because it doesn't make the difference. Like, again, it didn't matter. Ignis, I literally needed Ignis to go off, but Ignis couldn't. It was too short because I drew too many high-cost cards. And that one turn of not being able to play something screwed me because it allowed his novice trooper to stay on the field longer than I would like to, allowed it to evolve, hit me with a big beat stick, and then I couldn't stop him. <laughs> the, the most misplay I did there was just not mulliganing at the start, which I should have done. But to be fair, I had a decent hand. I didn't expect not to... I didn't expect to draw a bunch of high-cost bullshit, so... Ladies and gentlemen, me dying to the deck that I said multiple times in the playthrough dies to Dragoncraft. Swordcraft. Um, I should keep that ward considering what just happened, but you know what? I don't learn from my mistakes. I just keep doing dumb bullshit. Here comes Axe Pirate. Uh-huh. Yep. So... I can't win, or I'm probably not going to. I have a bunch of ramp cards, except now we ran into the opposite issue where I have the ramp, but I don't have the cards that, you know, a lot. Never mind. Um, okay, the last thing he has on board, the better. Okay. Just give it up already. Sadly, now I have to compete with C Brand Favor, but um. Oh my god, what the follower spam, are you kidding me? Okay, so we're definitely ramping to Ignis. Who's not even gonna go off in hindsight. Like, Ignis won't even proc. Man, what is with this game and not letting me hit off Ignis? Man, what is with this game and beating the shit out of me? Okay, Favor. Favor. 100% Favor. Okay, 
We're slowing him down in any way, shape, or form we can get. Because either he's going to waste a swing on that. Or if he doesn't, Ignis board moves him. So we'll see. Unless he does that! A little blood won't stop me. What a scrub. And now, if he has a second one in hand and another card with Storm, I lose. But you know what? We just have to pray that that's not the case. Hard call Ignis, because apparently that's what this deck likes to do. Um, Ignis Shinkada. And now I have to ram Ignis into Levin. Thankfully, he won't die in the process. But now if he plays, like I said, any two cards with Storm, I instantly die in the process. So we'll see, because all of my ward cards abandoned me. He's won, hasn't he? I live. I live. Barely. But I live. And now I have to genuinely figure out how I'm going to keep my ass alive even further. So here's the plan. Favor, increase the life. This works. Maelstrom. Maelstrom kamikazes into that. We have Ignis on lock. Ignis is... I should have evolved just to deal more bot damage, but... What are you gonna do now? Okay, call whatever you want. Faf... Or not Ignis. I have Faf near on lock. Uh, okay, simply because the opportunity presents itself. Seabrand into Favor. So I could not die. There's Ignis. Um, face. Okay, Seabrand imprison Alia. Wait, I can't do that. Oh, fuck. Here's this thing. Well, that's why I healed. Um, there is no way to kill that without losing something else I have, is there? No, there is not. Um, so, here goes Ignis. Um, let's just get back Seabrand for ramp bullshit. Or not for ramp bullshit, for storm bullshit. Uh, sadly, I mean, I could have just played a Seabrand, ran it into it, and then just... You know, didn't not have to lose Ignis, but you know what? Hindsight's twenty twenty. I could also have played Fafnir and then just done the same thing, but instead of involved Bejeweled, so then I have a giant beast that he couldn't get rid of. Boy, you're killing me with this. Um. Okay, in prison, so I have a ward this thing. Okay. He shouldn't be able to kill me. He shouldn't be able to kill me. He shouldn't. Oh wait, you know what? We know he has Fang Slave. Watch. Fang Slave. Three, two, one. I stand corrected. But now we have to pray he doesn't draw Fang Slave. That, that's literally what we have to do. We have to pray he doesn't draw Fang Slate. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna swing into this. We're just gonna quickly, um, Fafnir everything to death. Because, again, if he draws Fang Slate, I'm dead anyways. This doesn't make a difference. The most I could have done is Emissary and pray that I draw into, um... Pray that I draw into, um... Fervor from it, but, I mean, it does the same thing. I win! Fafnir, if you don't mind, um... Game Uendo. Yare. I haven't said that in a while. Go to hell, you won the first game. Good game. Okay. Honestly, Vapor's doing really good. As much as it ticks me off to admit. I guess I'm still no match for you. Right. Don't even start. I don't want to hear it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want your sympathy or your friendship. I just... Next time you're going down, okay? Sure. Okay. Now, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I do want to go fight Sit. I'm not going to do that because I'm not crazy. But... Please do not be annoying as Zaizenji. Please just lose on the first try. Please just lose. Mm -hmm. 
just said to talent, cannot escape my nose. Mm -hmm. Our last match was merveilleux. Mm -hmm. It opened my eyes, and so I had beaten into the world's spiciest pepper. Uh huh. I will let you in on a little secret. The truth is, I almost gave up being a chef. No need. Ah, almost. <laughs> that is. Why? The television. Magazines, celebrities, they all showered praises upon my cooking. Isn't that a good thing? The world was satisfied, but uh, I was not. Mm. So I decided that I would seek fulfillment elsewhere. Right. But that is when I. Oh, sorry, I didn't look at there. That match was like the universe itself, bursting with endless possibilities. You showed me that I still have room to go. Right. And so. I have added a secret ingredient to defeat you! Uh, my deck has become even more delicious! Uh-huh. My moves are as bold as brown pepper, yet delicate like rhyme. Now, oh, sorry. I keep cutting him off. I'm just, like, trying to get this over with. Shut the mouse! Show down! Okay, please, Marcel, lose. Be as easy as you were the first time. I, I beat Ko the first try, which wasn't supposed to happen. I beat Zuo the first time, which wasn't supposed to happen. I also saw Zenji twice, which wasn't supposed to happen. I lost to Takuma once, which kind of was supposed to happen. It kind of wasn't. Please just lose on the first try. I now realize that his deck is a higher level than it is than it was before, which probably is why Zenji had an easier time. Okay, hi, Ignis. Okay, this is nothing personal, buddy. I just need to... Okay, Morgan, one is for another. Uh, I just need to find more ramp cards. Okay, thank you for not taking it personally, but can you um, call forth some ramp cards? That is an Aelia. No offense to Aelia. Specifically, a Dragon Oracle would be appreciated. Please. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Um, Bejeweled, face. You see, I tried bargaining with the deck. It didn't work. Earlier this morning when I was playing Card by Vanguard, I bargained with the deck and it was working, so I assumed it was going to work here. Um... Huh. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna let that dog live against my better judgment. Pray the game can't banish Aelia, which I know it can. Three, two, one. Yep. I knew it. Okay, for some reason the AI did not take the chance to go face, which I really thought it would. This is... fine. Um... I mean, I have... I can't freebie Ignis because, of course, the same problem that keeps happening, the too high cost hand, is occurring again. But, um, if I top deck Phoenix Roost, which wasn't gonna happen, I would say I could kind of turn that around. Okay, I was gonna say that there's a high chance I pull something I need off that because I'm not gonna be able to play Ignis for a hot second, anyways, or, you know, hard play Ignis the way I want to. Might as well ramp and get hand cards out of it. And recover defense. My dishes are guaranteed delicious. This is Ace. Hey, we finally get to see his Ace. Hey, well, let's get cooking. I like how his cutscene doesn't actually start in a different area. It starts here. Okay, so he gets the two bullshit cards that raise stats and decrease stats. Okay. So, Ignis sadly does not board clear here. Which is the worst news I could possibly have in this situation. So Ignis, I mean not Ignis, Seabrand. And I think what we do here is I just fire Lizard. That specifically. We evolve and then we take that thing down. And next turn we either Fafnir or we Ignis into Maelstrom. I think those are options, either Ignis or Maelstrom into Ignis or just hard Fafnir someone down. My oh my god, he's the second one. Okay, good sir. So, okay, when he plays either or, depending on which one it is, I either take a damage or he gains a life. Ow. Ow. Please do not have some broken on him all effect. Okay, so now he dies to Ignis, but um, it's a hard question of if I should play Ignis here. And honestly, the answer is kind of yes and no. Um, I mean, the next Ignis I play, I think, procs, right? Because if I draw, I'll have four, then I play Alien. Yeah, next Ignis will proc. So 
uh, regardless of what I draw, which is good. So the fact that I do get the board nuke is nice. I'm just worried about what he's going to do in the process, because we know he has one of the minus ones in hand, he has two of the plus ones, but w we'll see. Oh, I stand corrected now, he has two of each. Okay, that worries me. God damn it, you and that ward. Oh yeah, he's going to kill Ignis. Yeah, he's going to kill Ignis. He, he's gonna make it just enough so it kills Ignis. But on the bright side, Ignis will kill the Shield Angel, so there's that. And it will kill it inherently. So, draw. That's a perfect card for later. Call Aelia. Call Ignis. He is out of evil points. Um, Ignis, however, auto evolves for free because we can finally afford to do that. Ignis sadly will take one bop damage from this, but on the bright side, the goose dies for free, and if he doesn't kill me here, I can survive and possibly board clear him if I have to, and possibly even have game depending on the situation. No, oh, he's gonna nerf Ignis as much as he can, isn't he? Or he's just gonna buff the shit out of his cards. Yeah, he's gonna nerf Ignis as much as he can. You son of a bitch! Wow! Oh, thank god, it's only for the turn. Never mind, I thought it was gonna stay like that. Um, well... Okay, we'll go... Mr. Dragon. Face. Face. This is not game, sadly. Um... Okay, yes, I could have Favored and basically... If I top decked anything with Storm, have game, but I didn't want to take that chance. Now, does he have a chance to win if he pulls something with Storm and then just drugs it? Yes, but I don't think he will. So, I think I win. Unless he gives up being Storm. But I, I think he can't, so... Yeah, I win. Um... Well, it's funny how our last game ends with both these two on the board. Fafnir. Yare. Cool. Good game. Thank you, Marcel. We got 1,100 coins out of that. So much your freebie packs. Oh yeah, I literally just started pulling a bunch of packs for no reason. You have given me a perfect taste of your skin. Right. Yet, oh, I have never in my life been so frustrated. Okay. But this frustration is addictive. It is truly the highest quality spice. Right. I cannot wait to see what you cook up in the future. Meanwhile, Marcel will also be pursuing no less than the finest cuisine. Good. I did it. My score is high enough to qualify for the finals, but it wouldn't hurt to get some more matches in first. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, so I don't have to do that. So, in the next one, we will actually start the finals of nationals. Or not like the final finals, but you know, like the final countdown, the final round. I'm gonna fight no one else, so I'll see you all then. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join us, follow the Twitch, and next time the finals officially begin.